Well, good morning, church. Today is Thursday, June 25th, and we are in our fourth month of mostly staying at home. And we look to God for direction through scripture and try to connect um, our lives to what God intends for us in these days. So today I was thinking about the word hope. Um, in the coming days and weeks, your pastors will be using the daily lectionary and today's scripture from Romans 5 is about hope. The past couple of weeks, I've heard hope discussed in various ways. One uh, visit I had um, standing outside someone's carport, an uh, older member of the church who is in her 90s and it made me so sad to hear her say, I don't think I'll ever come back to worship. I don't think I'll ever come back to worship. She doesn't have hope that once again it'll be safe to gather in an indoor space in close contact with others, speaking together, um, praising God, and that made me really sad. Um, but we got to be church with one another because we're two or three are gathered indeed there is Christ another word of hope I heard this week is in a staff meeting on Tuesday um, our children and youth ministry started with an idea of having a drive-through coffee hour on a Sunday morning and handing things to the children and the youth and then what if um, adults wanted to come and because we adults need to see each other too and how to do that safely and in a in a brief way of contact and just standing outside and having some short visits um, would be the thing that we need the most. We miss each other. Um, and I heard one of the staff members say, this gives me hope just to know that there's something to look forward to when we can gather again safely. And we're gonna do it in a creative way on July 19th. So I hope you'll come to the drive-through coffee hour um, or coffee two hours just to speak to one another from our cars and to say hello um, and to share in a mission project together. You'll hear more about that. I thought about hope too when I thought about I planted some seeds last week. Um, it was too late to plant Clemson um, okra. I think it's the spiny okra that is the Clemson brand that I got at a former PSA moderator's baby shower that gave out seeds to everybody. This is the Clemson spineless, excuse me. And I planted my Clemson spineless seeds and just scattered them in a pot and thought, we'll see what happens. And today I looked and that appeared, the start of my okra plants. So those are signs to me of hope. And when you plant a seed, you hope for the best, you hope for the right conditions, and you pray for them, and you just have to let it happen. I wanna share these words from Paul to the Romans in chapter five, and I know these are important words because I think it was high school or college, I highlighted them in my Bible. Listen for the word of the Lord. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we rejoice in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also rejoice in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance. Perseverance, character, and character hope. And hope does not disappoint us because God has poured out his love into our hearts by the Holy Spirit whom he has given to us. Hope does not disappoint us. In these difficult days, in these days of trouble, I hope more than anything we are learning to rely on God daily for um, the strength to persevere, the patience to get through, the wisdom and the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Because hope in God never disappoints us. Let's keep our eyes focused on that. Let us pray. 
Oh God, in the midst of all the disappointments around us and even the suffering of our brothers and sisters, um, we remember that in you we have our hope through our Lord Jesus Christ who gives us grace. Grace not only for salvation, but grace for faith to get through each day. Please guide and direct us this day by the power of your Holy Spirit to persevere, to grow in character, to hope, to hope in you, because we know that you will not disappoint us. Thanks be to God for that good news. Amen.